So good morning to one and all present here. A uh, warm welcome to all of you on behalf of SRM Institute of Science and Technology and also from Director of Research, all the dignitaries present on the dais, of the dais, as well as the dear participants. I think they are going to organize eight days program for universal human values. I think already Dr. Supraja mentioned this is one of the first such program. I would like to thank as well as congratulate uh, Dr. Supraja who is spending a lot of time for the betterment of others. I remember seven, eight years before she came to me, she, uh, she was asked to do many works like that. She was unable to do research, focus on research. Now it is totally reversed. So she has been spending all her time for development of others. It is very, very important. We are to find a person like her. So I ask, uh, request all of you to give a big round of applause to her. Because we are running out of time all the time, even we never had a time to think about others, right? This is the way we have been you know, working. So, as each and every one of us, I just read about this something. I don't want to miss it. I can talk about human values hours together. Sing. So, what I have been observing, we are using the people and love the gadget. This is uh, whenever you meet people, Immediately, we'll see how can I use that person, right? So, this is a society. This is a country 15,000 years before cultivation started. This is southern part of India. And peace is a living reality. It is not rest in peace. So, now you come to the stage to talk about the human values. So, this is a country which, you know, where spirituality and human value, we taught to the rest of the world. So, now you are again looking back because we lost our culture and everything because of the continuous invasion, we forget all the human values. So now it is time to take back and then see, uh, you should be proud of our country. If you are not at all proud of your country, then it is difficult to be here. Okay, if anybody, all, the, all of you get you know, visa to America, everybody wanted to go there, right? They forget everything because they don't know about India as well as I just know, uh, before I talked to Sri Ganesh, Bagaria about that Sola Kingdom. I think you know Sola, he went up to South Korea for the trade. So you know the Angover War, right? The temple was constructed by Tamil King. They went up to that place, had a huge trade, but we never read all these things in our books. We know what is a Panipat for, first one, second one, third. Still I remember the names and everything. So we are very proud of became slavery. Still the slavery is with us, even the left is 75 years before. So we are very good slaves, enslaved to this such, such a thing. So this is the right time to you know, take, well, even after 75 years, nobody bothered about these things. This is the pathetic of this society. Uh, so this is, uh, you no, know, I think this type of program will help the people to realize and know what is the human value. At the end of the day, when you die, you don't know. You know? Judgment day, you will come to know what is given to you, what you are going to do, okay? But well, you cannot take even single atom with you. So this kind of program definitely helps you to understand what is a human value. I think any, all of you at one point of time realize what is the purpose of our existence and purpose of our desire. I think being Indian, it is very common thought, where we came from, where we are going. Without that, you, most of us, we cannot exist. Because in the belief system, if I after, no, after my death, I will go to the heaven. Okay, such a belief system, it gives confidence. So confidence without clarity leads to disaster. I can cross the GST road by saying Shiva, one time I make it. Next time, he will come and take you to the... Huh? <laughs> Yes, that is, that's what I want to tell. So that's the purpose of life is very, very important. So without knowing, we cannot live. So that is the ultimate. That's what we never taught about any God, this culture. If you live full potentially, if you live full potentially, that it uh, no, automatically will take you to the ultimate. Even if we try, you know, drink a cup of water, when you are thirst, you can realize who is the Creator. If you see the beautiful, whatever it is, people are missing. 
you can see here the students also all the time they are listening something and watching something if they don't do something they sleep they know how to do sit without doing anything how the brain gets rejuvenation so this is a country where we talk about the human value that is ultimate thing if you see 99.999 is empty and 0.000001 is the matters so we are focusing 0.00001 which is almost negligible so if we focus 99.9 which is emptiness then the material aspect of you no know, life will be well taken care of. so we are missing all these things because this is a country where they spend generation to together to know what is a human value where we came from where we are going everything they told about these things but we have no time to even to so know read or understand our culture it is a very 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 rich culture okay the Ma- mathwan from usa he told about india by the human as well as the god whatever maximum one can do already they have done in this on this earth so the unseen layer of spirituality already within this earth which holds a country from kashmir to kanyakumari otherwise this country will be disintegrated into small pieces like europe then the tamil nadu will be disintegrated into castaways so because of the unseen layer of spirituality people from rameswaram go to the kashi we have the two uh, towns called sivagasi and tenkasi but kashi is there 2000 km away that is a connection right people from kashi they go to rameswaram like that we are going elsewhere because of that spiritual connectivity if you lose it spiritual means different from religious religious means it's fixed here we don't want because you know other countries they lived like barbarian that's the reason religious came into picture at least they bend down something is bigger than human for that here we have god as a stepping stone for the ultimate so if you pay attention for that the moment you realize everything in same energy vibrating in different masses e is equal to mc squared e is equal to we call energy or eswar so the moment you realize the same energy vibrating in different masses everything whatever you are seeing you cannot separate whatever see there is a creation that means what does it mean creator wherever you see the creation the creator is there you cannot discriminate by the name of religious greed or something like that the moment i am saying i say myself i am man i am deviating from the nature i am saying tamil person again deviating from nature indian again deviating because this nature is given as a full freedom for animals the two layers are fixed top and bottom layer they cannot do anything whatever they want for us the bottom line is fixed the top line is not there you want to be god yes you want to be a thief anything you want you can be like that but we don't know we suffer out of freedom not for bondage because we don't know how to use the freedom for the next even many religions told this is a bridge if you cross it please cross it otherwise don't try to stick on the stay and construct on the bridges so you will come to know at the end of the day what type of life is given to us whatever you do then if you go to farmer he is working for getting 100 buffaloes maybe here 100 bench car i may need nobel prize but according to nature there is no difference between the ambani as well as the rickshaw wala everybody is seeking for the something so something which in us is called the boundless something which is boundless it is non physical which is non physical we cannot touch the dimension which is non physical the moment you will be non physical you able to touch the dimension so once you come to know this dimension then there is no talk about don't disturb others because you come to know same energy vibrating in different masses 
then you will not disturb okay so stress is not out of reach is a part of our day to day process being human being we came here to live happily without accumulating when i was young i always thinking why this kind of discrimination same house one one person is you know living with stress and same house his brother is unable to walk and one house poor you know poor poorest people next house richest people i really wanted to know who is the creator i wanted to kill that man it was my thought when i was 7 years i used to get headache whenever i want to know who is the creator and became blind also it's a kind of state then my family is atheist family you, know, you cannot see any god or goddess for that this is also belief system okay when gautama buddha was sitting like this somebody asked question he is a rama bhakta even dress everything written in rama he always utter rama 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 he had a doubt whether there is a god or not always i waste my whole life he stood at the crowd and asked buddha is there any god he looked at him and he said there is no god everybody was so happy the enlightened person clearly declared there is no god there is no account whatever i want i can do there is no sin the same day evening another meeting on sarvakar he is on who always disprove there is no god and he used to earn lot of money he also had you no know, he spent lot of whole time for lifetime like that not for us i went to i used to go friday god you know i spent 10 minutes for you in case if god is there so he is not they are not such people they dedicated whole life for them the pain is very high he also stood in the corner and asked look at the gaudama asked is there any god and he looked at him i said yes there is a god his both are in the belief system okay so they, they will not go anywhere so this is a country where the seeking is the ultimate so when i had such feeling then i don't know what to do so you know later say they always talk about shiva then i started praying then that problem is vanished so i think this do you need to talk so that is this type of things def- definitely we are helpful for the because we are missing many things we are running out of the time for targeting something so we are running those thing people are having millions of dollars having islands unable to sleep so 1% of the people having 70% of the wealth of this country if they decide today day, today there will be no poverty tomorrow so gaudama always went to the kings to change the king only if they change the king the entire people will change right so if you able to change one percent of the people you can change the whole planet so program such like this will definitely help not only for us and also for the bureaucracy as well as richest people i don't know they never seen the millions of dollar might be in the bank elsewhere here and there it gives confidence that i am rich and these are the people who are number one are the ruling you know they are the destroyer of the plan the comparison is dead against the nature that we have been doing no coconut tree will compare with the next tree that it gives more yield i am giving less yield so the comparison is the one was why i am having like car next uh, person has this car i have so this is kind of this you know disease what my capacity according to capacity only i will get it always you will not get it okay we have the one thing is intellectual that is our brain which is holding is our identity if i am indian i have i can kill the pakistani because i have the hold the identity of indian if i am american i can kill anybody that's what those day we said when they ask identity we said universe the moment you take universe as identity you cannot kill anybody so that's the reason this place we call universe is identity if you keep universe as identity you will not otherwise you kill this identity is held by our memories you have eight kind of memories because of that you are stitching uh, sitting here which type of memory which holds your identity you are like that whether you are doctor engineer whatever it is can i change a memory is yes, very much possible 
okay so the i'm slightly deviating so that's what i want to say all of you this is i thank all the resource person i think thank you for uh, our uh, sri ganesh bagaria who gave the opportunity to conduct here sir told me they wanted to have it in the iit kanpur i think they wanted to conduct here i think this type of i, I had a chance to you know uh, attend one of this management development program it was very useful and slowly that sir took me slowly into the another area where we never seen okay very very important still we are missing those thing so if we work from the fundamental so we are always working on the tree top if you working on the tree tree top it will not work you should work from the root if you work on the root fruit will come out if you on the tree top it will not work the most of the politician they working on the tree top only if you look at korea for the for primary school teachers are the best teachers from the best university rank holder okay we are missing all this thing so i thank all this resource people for coming over here and going to spend 8 days here to for this program i hope you will get immensely benefit out of that so you are the volunteers you understand volunteer right it's a very very it's not simple thing you are going to spend your time for others ramana maharishi simply told whatever you do for others it is not for them it is for you as simple as that so again once again congratulate uh, purvaja and other organizers for spending the time for 8 days to conduct and motivate all of you towards this one thank you so much for giving the opportunity